Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to today's analysis. Without any wasting of the time, let's get into the chart for more explanation. Hello and welcome to today's moderate trade analysis and report for upcoming days. About cryptocurrency, macroeconomic news, the number of applications for Ethereum future, EFTS, and increasing rapidly and currently stands at 16. Arch Invest uh, and 21 shares are the most recent applications. According to an unreliable source in the SEC, it was stated in the last few weeks that the probability of this future EFTS being accepted is very high. Frentech, a social networking platform, generated $1.68 million in protocol fees and 35,000 active users on 23rd of August. With the emergence of this protocol, the possibility of increasing this category of protocols and projects has increased. The Tor chain lending system has been activated. This uh, few future offers native Bitcoin and Ethereum lending, uh, lending with uh, no liquidation, interest or expiration. Radian Capital has announced its plan uh, to launch on Ethereum mainnet on uh, 3rd of October. USDC is set to launch on six other blockchain by October. Ethereum developers are set to launch a new testnet called Holesky in September. Bitget requires KYC from 1st of September. And Gamble 5 and the various spots are attracting categories of the market with strong and different projects emerging every day. As it is clear from the data, the amount of trans uh, transactions on the Gamble Fine platforms on the Ethereum network has increased significantly, both in terms of volume, number, and number of users. We expect that Gamble Fine will continue to grow with the emergence of new protocols and new attractive projects in this area. Now let's move on. BTC on chain based on MVRB on NRPL. The seven day MVRB is currently neutral. As you can see, the 30 day MRV, uh, MVRB is still below zero after the fall, but due to the market cap remaining stable in the last few days, this index has been increasing, which shows that the realized price has actually decreased. And about address bonds realized price, this chart shows the realized price status for different wallets. There is an important support level between 22,170 and 23,300 and density of buying average. Note or see number in this chart. 2,500 for bills. Uh, between 100 to 1000 coins and 22,160 for small holders, it's about 1 to 10 coins. And about uh, Bitcoin USDT for our time frame. In this time frame, according to the existing structure, the price is probably moving in the form of diametric diamond pattern, which is expected after completing a full scale drop of 20,000 to 24,700. And about weekly time frame, by checking this time, uh, we see the price will sign with the occurrence of the software level turning into resistance. We expect that by breaking the 24 for 70 range, the price will fall in the long term. 
and about daily time frame with the failure of the 24 to 99 support there will be a price drop and about 400 time frame according to a structure of the charts in the four hours time frame in the resistance level of 26 a 28 is broken there is an expectation of price growth up to the range of 28 500 you can set the loss limit to 25 600 Now let's have a reviewing and reviewing the analysis of the last months and a half until now. In short and according to the black signs that were previously determined based on the analysis possibilities in the chart, first exit by stabilizing below the purple line. And after that, the price will reach the black circle. And then for a while, the price will almost suffer until it reaches the empty circle. Finally, we had a reduction to the flash area and pull back to the red trend line during this period in this analysis. As it can be seen, the chart progress according to the possibilities of the analysis. For four months analysis in this figure, in the blue rising trend, the red dynamic resistance stands in the way of the price increase. The price has moved from the bottom of the red trend to the pullback. And there is a possibility of price reduction to the blue support and pullback to the last black dot line. And in the monthly time frame, in the previous two graphs, we saw uh, reasons and resistances again, against the price increase. But the question is, despite this resistance and reasons, why hasn't the price increased? While inside the rising trend with the steep blue slope, we have another rising trend with a gentle slope and in green. As mentioned earlier, the red dynamic line is the forward resistance and the blue and green lines are the forward dynamic supports. Caution. We're reducing the price and fixing it below the blue colored line, the FIBO chart. We find the following two points. Two points FIBO round view. From one, that the price was zero to two, that the maximum price was 68, nine, 97.75 Now in the weekly time frame with a general view charts as expected we had the price exit from the bottom of the pay blue corner also we have the price drop below the orange dynamic support line and the support of this orange line has also brain lusts and this line itself has now become resistance and as uh, we expected the price pull back to the red trend line and not only was not supported by this line but also penetrated into this trend the accumulation uh, of lines in the place of solid circle increased the importance and possibility of seeing this point with a quieter look along with a static support and resistance in this figure, the points of the hollow circle, which is the intersection of the dynamic blue support line and the static support of the green dashed line, is significant and important. And there is also the possibility of the pullback to the tin rent trend line. And for our view, based on dynamic lines, the price has broken out of uh the blue uptrend and uh, is in the next big trend which is green within uh the green trend in order of the magnitude of the trend first we have the red downward trend within which also have the purple trend 
and then the pale blue trend. Of course, zooming is done for greater clarity uh, in the next diagram. Okay, let's zoom on the chart. In the green increasing trend, we have the red decreasing trend and the pullback price has completed the red dot line. And now the forward supports are the pale blue line, uh, the black line and the green line. At the same time, purple and pale blue trend uh, should also be considered. Cautions when the price drops and stabi stabilizes below the pale blue support line and next caution when the price drops and stabilizes below the green support line and finally caution when the price drops and stabilizes below the black support line. In the weekly time frame, which is the same as the zoom of graphs three by going to the time of three days. In this figure, the first resistance ahead will be the black dashed line and the yellow line, and especially the intersection of the two will be the yellow circle. And if the price above this area, or even the line term, does not stabilize above the red down bar trend line, the trend uh, will also it will be such a reduction. If we consider the pale blue trend as a corner, because the price enter this corner from the top. There is a possibility that the price will exit from the bottom of this corner. And in this case, the price is still in the long term green trend of the diagram tree and the medium term purple trend of the figure below. In addition, the point marked with a hollow circle is important because it is the intersection of three trend lines, red, black and purple. And it definitely has high visibility. Consider a static support and resistance lies to close to the same time as dynamic lines. As expected, the price fell after reaching the empty circle, which was the intersection of three purple lines and a green dot and green line. In the orange line, uh, in the past, we had a sharp drop in price at the location of R1 which caused this line to become resistance, which after some time and at the location of R2, after the price exited the red dot trend, this orange line found a supporting rule, which is the location of the flash tree also broke this support and now the orange line has the rule of static resistance and considering that the price has not pulled back after leaving the red dot line, there is a tendency to perform this pullback, which makes the price stay between the line for some time. The line of a static resistance is orange and the line of a static support is green. And in a final look, in the figure, both uh, the orange dynamic support line and the black support line have been broken. And according to the conditions of the last candle, which now below the close of the previous candle, the price movement range will be in the highlighted pink range. That is between two black static horizontal lines and two lines orange and blue dynamics. In addition, do to the accumulation of dynamic lines, there is a possibility of seeing a solid circle and then in case of support, the possibility of seeing a hollow circle becomes possible. At the moment, it is not suitable for intraday, but if the price stabilizes above the orange line, it will be suitable for short-term fluctuations in the green trend. The appropriate entry for the line term will be when the price increase and stabilizes above the red dot trend line because as long as the price is in the red dot trend it is actually in a down bar trend and only when the price is formed this downtrend it can be placed in a blue line term uptrend According to the intersection of the red trend line and the orange line and the blue support line at the point of empty circle, there is possibility of seeing this point. We shall see this figure for three days and with the three point FIBO. 
And in terms of Ichimoku and last candles, in the Ichimoku, in the places marked with arrows, Chikou span or green line has gone below the two Tenkan Sen or blue, and a Kijue Sen or red line, as well as below the price chart, which are obstacles for price increase. Kijue Sen is about Tenkan Sen. There is a red cloud ahead, all of the above indicate a downward trend. At the intersection, it can be seen that candle no 2 is closed below the open price of candle no 1, which is a sign of tendency to decrease, and in candle no 3, closes below the open price of candle no 2, this tendency to decrease will increase. Another point is that the candlesticks in candle 1 and 2 are at the bottom of the candle, but in candle number 3, the candlesticks are placed above the body which shows a greater desire to sell than to buy. For analysis based on Ichimoku and lost candles, the Ichimoku signs in this figure arrows show the continuation of the decrease and in the place of the cross circle, the last candle has a price below the open price of the previous red candle and even below the close price of the last green candle and this is also a sign of the continuation of the decrease. For analysis based on two point and three points we will at the places of the dot circle we have support which had uh, turned into resistance at the place of the cross circle. If we hit two black feeble points and three purple feeble points on the chart at the same time, then we'll have average resistance and green supports in front of price. Dear friends, so far in the reports, we have tried to get the eye and mind used to sing these lines by continuously and repeatedly using simple lines of support and static and dynamic resistance and dropping trend lines. Because the detection and dropping of these lines in price action analysis, it is very important and practical. The method of analysis are different and uh, one of the private styles in this price action which is mostly used by the public. There are other styles, for example, analysis based on candles and price patterns, or based on harmonic patterns, or analysis based on Elliott Bays, or based on supply and demand, or analysis based on volume and time analysis, and analysis using different indicators from Ichimoku, sentences, and, and, and so on. There are different styles and tools of analysis, but the important thing is that each person is more comfortable with each of them. And more importantly, with which style do they get better results? So don't have any bias in the styles of analysis. Gradually, even unintentionally, you will get to know all the styles and little by little, you will realize your favorite and personal style. But what is important is that whatever it is, it will lead to your victory in the market. It helps to use it and on the other hand, don't jump too much from one branch to another and don't confuse yourself. Find the simplest, understandable and controllable method that maxes your interest and go for it and know that only with a lot of practice and precision and focus on the same simple and selective method that you like, you will get better results until create confusion and lack of mastery of yourself with variety. Of course, you will gradually get to know other methods along with your simple and chosen method. One of the things that is used in addition to price action is the use of tools and indicators. Of course, it is usually said that price action should be quiet and simple and without indicators. And even some people consider price action to be late or even obsolete, but experience proves that in the market, whatever can show signs that reduce the amount of errors and mistakes or can be signed or guide to find the path and trend of the market is useful for us in addition to analysis. My personal opinion is that it is true that buying or selling happens, happens first. 
and that the indicators shows this buying or selling but can this short delay completely negate the usefulness of the indicator if this is the case then why are these tools still used for yes tools such as moving average rsi macd ichimoku fibonacci and etc and another question is why not only these tools are ups obsolete but every day other new and useful indicators are presented in the markets both free and even not free well if these were not useful why do they get so many likes don't they say that the indicators has a delay so why are we can, uh, constantly looking at the rsi or macd to see the first signs of divergence in them and to learn about the ch uh, change of the trend sooner why do we keep looking to FIBO to determine the upside levels after each decline is completed? Why do we try to use FIBO stairs in stay purchases? In summary, friends, according to the mentioned content, it is better to use the useful tools of indicators without prejudice for more accuracy and more confidence factor in addition to your analysis. Of course, you will gradually master the methods of fine-tuning them or combining them with each other and you will achieve good strategies for trading by com combining the adjusted and personalizing tools with price action. In the next figure, only one moving average indicator has been used. So easily and with only one moving origin, we can reach a sign. Of course, this is only one sign and cannot be relied on alone. But it is possible, for example, to combine two or more moving origins which it can also be used or it can be combined with other indicators so that these combinations can increase the re uh, re reliability of transactions if you are interested from now on we will sometimes use indicators aligned with the analysis so that firstly the means of familiarity with these tools will rise and secondly skill will be gradually de developed by adjusting them or using the combination in making trading strategies. As it can be seen in the picture, we have placed only one original moment on the chart, but it has been tried to get adjusted so that it has the most compatibility with the price chart. Of course, usually only one moment is not used below and it cannot be cited below. But since we already have an analysis for now, we will check this one movement number of familiarity. In the chart, wherever the price has gone from the top of the moment to below it, and more importantly, the price has stabilized there. It was a sign of price reduction and selling. And wherever the price is from the bottom moving has got above it and it has stabilized there, it was a sign of price increase or buying and at the end of the right side of the chart the price candle has gone from above to below the line of the moving chart and stabilizing it is below it and with the completion of stabilization it will indicate a decrease in the price those who sell by individual analysis and after completing this stabilization usually remain in the selling position until the price goes from the bottom to the top of this chart and stabilizes there and then close their selling position. Now you can put a moving average on the weekly chart and see how you can set the most suitable average for your chart. Let's investigate for final chart based on moving average indicator. The small orange boxes indicate the degree of matching of moving with the price chart. Note the matching of the average with the price chart is more important in the near parts of the chart than in the earlier parts. In the figure below, matching the price chart and the average in the area of the large uh, rectangular box is more important than in the previous chart. Let's talk about Bitcoin dominance in daily time frame. In the daily time, after completing a triple pattern, the price entered downward movement. And as you can see in the picture, the six months channel has been broken and it is likely to drop to the level of uh, 47.50. And in the weekly time frame, 
by checking this time with the breaking of the bottom of ascending channel in the range of 48.69%, there will be an expectation of a drop in the index in the long term. In the daily time, looking at the daily top of this symbol, if the level conversation zone is broken in the range of 48.56%, there will be an expectation of a drop in the index. And in the 4 hour period, with the breaking of the resistance level of 49.43%, there will be an expectation of the growth of the index up to the range of 50.20%. If the 48.94% range is broken from the bottom, the above analysis will be invalid. And for others' dominance, in the weekly time frame, according to the structure of the chart in weekly time, the index is in a long term of bar trend. With the breaking of the 12.10% range, there is an expectation of index growth in the long term. And in the daily time frame, by looking at the daily time with the breaking of the resistance level of 12.16%, there will be an expect expectation of growth of the index. By checking the time of 4 hours in case of breaking the saving of ascending channel in the range of 11.52%, there is an expectation of the growth of the index up to the range of 12.60%. If the 11% range is broken from the bottom, the above analysis will be invalid. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to subscribe us and hit that like button and turn on notification to be first one to get our analysis in the next video. Have a great day and happy trading.